Hey, all developers, job aspirants, and everybody who's looking out there, a very warm and a great good evening to everybody. I hope you're all doing great out there. In today's session, let us look at some basics of coding in SAP ABAP, understand what SAP reports are, and let us look at a typical ABAP reporting structure. We've been looking at a lot of commands in our previous sessions, but in this session, let us understand how a typical ABAP reporting structure would look like, okay? Now, this should give you a very good idea as to how things in real time would work, though this is a very basic example of a real timer, but then still, this is how uh, things in real time would be developed. Now, this would give you an idea of it, right? Now, all those who are looking for uh, any serious training in further uh, on the same module, you could let us know as we would take it up and we would love to ensure that you are a part of a team and are growing uh, in this uh, tenure, uh, in, in this journey in specific. Uh, and then, now what we would do is, uh, in order to ensure that you know we keep you know growing further at every given point of day, uh, just ensure what is it that you've learned new, at least at the beginning phase, do not take a lot of things at one go, take things step by step and keep uh, practicing things on a regular basis, which would do a uh, lot of good rather than, you know, uh, waiting for things to happen. That would do more harm than good. And if you are looking forward to follow us, we are now also on Instagram and you have a comment section below. If you have any queries, you can always write to us or, or let us know and on the Instagram. We are coming up with a new series of uh, uh, you know, photos or new series of Insta graphics, uh, which would give you an idea about how SAP is doing and <clears throat> what are the different ways in which SAP is developing. We have some photos that are lined up for release and some photos have, that have been you know, directly copied from SAP pages. This might give you an insight about what would happen to SAP in the upcoming decade. Right? You could uh, follow that as well. Right, so now let us go back to the SAP you know, home screen. This is the home screen for us. We have SC38, which is my SAP ABAP editor, right? Now here it would be seven. In the sixth one, we've seen condense. Fifth is for next line split. Fourth is split and replace. In the third video, we've seen system variables. The second one was for the first code on reporting, right? Now this, would be seventh in which we would be looking at uh, the actual report structure all right and the type would be an executable program and i would like to save this in my local object great so i have my report screen on to the fold. Now, uh, see, whenever you are de defining a report, right, you always need to have a, a structure that uh, needs to be allotted, right? So now I would first be taking a structure, right? And this structure, okay, right, it would be types. And I would like to, you know, begin. Uh, now I have to give my structure a name. So I will give it as you know employee. Okay, because it will be employee details. Now when I say employee details, what all do you think I would be having? I would be having a name for my employee, okay, a 10 digit name spacing with type C. I would be having his or her age. Age would generally be two like two digit, right? And it would be numbered, so it should be I or even n should do good and then i would also like to you know uh, add his salary or probably his address address would be another 10 digit uh, with type of uh, character and then i would like to add his phone number uh, which would also be 10, 10 digit type i and finally, I would like to add his salary. Okay, we would be having salaries in five digits to six digits. So let's add 
5 and this would be type i again and now i would like to you know close my structure and how do i do that you have end of okay and it would be end of e emp the same uh, name that i begin with right now i have to assign a work area to the same emp that is the same structure that i've created right so now in order to do that i will be using data uh, now assigning a work area to my emp all right now that is done now i would have to you know a lot okay so first let me just see all what i have created i have a name i have taken an age i have uh, created an address and one number is also being taken salary has also been added all right now all these have been added now i would also have to you know ensure that these are in the right part of it right now what all do i have i have my work area name see now i have to ensure that all these are also in the right statement otherwise you will not have an output as we know uh now taking my work area address work area phone number and finally the work area salary as well great so now i can you know run my output uh, i can execute this but then let us you know enter some values here uh Varun, age 27. My address would be Hyderabad. My phone number would be 95. 720. All right. And my salary would be 100 rupees. All right, so now let me check if there is any errors. Okay, it says there is no effect in the combination uh, with type I. Okay, so that's just a warning which can totally be ignored. Okay, we don't have any errors as such except for a couple of warnings. It says the object is activated. Now let me just go to processing and see if this. Okay, it says there's a short dump which is formed. So let us just eliminate uh, the i uh, eliminate the numbers wherever we have uh, i variant okay so let me just change this we have two i's so let me just delete the numbers we don't want any dumps right so great there's no syntax error now the object is activated okay 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 uh, well i think the error is with the phone number okay well i think that's gone a bit too much Well, I don't think it's with the N. Great, so now we have the output, right? So Varun, my age, Hyderabad, my phone number, and 100. So all of these are now printed and we are able to see them in the output as well, right? So this is how a standard reporting structure would actually look like, 
all right now whenever you create a report you ensure that this is the structure that you're following because this is how uh, reports are created in real time parlance you you don't actually work on this commits and split and uh, such minor statements you will be working on uh, reports which might go up to uh, nothing less than 3 to 400 lines at least okay so uh, when you got to work on that kind of report i think the report on which we've been working just now is just you know not even 10 lines considering from line number 3 to line number 19 already it's okay 15 lines I, I don't think that's actually uh, how a real time report would work like right so i hope you have learned something new now if there's any query that you have or if there's anything that you want to let us know you have the comment section below please make use of it and if you like what's being uh, you know displayed here you can always hit the like button and if you want to have regular updates on the same and if you want to follow us you can hit the subscribe button with the bell icon as you would have regular notifications as to what all we are doing and you can share this video if you feel that it might help at least a few now in the next video we would be looking at uh, reports part 7 uh, this is a misprint again uh, do stay subscribed to our channel tech tablet as there's a lot of videos yet to be released and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us thanks a lot happy coding happy growing i wish you have a great day out there